Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So it has been a while since I did my last MCOC character breakdown and I decided to get back to it and uh, today's champion is going to be Wasp. Now Wasp is unfortunately under very very uh, huge misconceptions and most people look at Wasp as nothing more than a synergy piece for Ghost but Wasp is an amazing champion in her own right. I have done Wasp Champion review, I have featured Wasp in multiple different gameplay videos, which if you type in Wasp KT1 in YouTube, there should be like four or five videos featuring Wasp, and I do generally believe that Wasp is extremely criminally underrated, underrated champion in the game. Uh, but before I kind of like go into all of that, we're gonna jump here and we're gonna go uh, over all of her abilities, uh, start with the basic information, so obviously it's a wound. Champion name is Wasp. It's a science class. She is a science small character, and main kind of like notable tags would be hero and metal. And uh, yeah, that means Magneto does have an effect on her, and it also does mean that she gets the benefits, for instance, from Nick Fury uh, attack increase energy for hero champions. Now, uh, to move on to some of the more uh, important points, now her damage output overall is good to slash great but there are ways how to increase it first and foremost wasp is one of those champions who has a really easy access to guaranteed critical hits on her heavy attacks and uh, that's perfect because she can chain the heavy attacks uh, in the middle of her combo and uh, that just works really well to kind of like increase her damage output as well as there are other methods how to increase this critical damage output which we're going to discuss a bit later but i'm also important uh, side thing to note is that she's also one of those ramp up champions now her attack kind of like ramp up does typically only come from level threes and uh, level three does get increased attack value based on your combo meter however also her petrify gets increased potency based on her combo meter so in longer fights when you need to reverse a lot of heal kind of like very strongly her petrified debuffs can cause a lot of really fun uh, and interesting fights and fun options how to deal with some extremely potent regeneration buffs so that's also there's definitely to note uh, as an opponent she is fairly potent uh, alliance ward defender for instance and she's quite annoying to always face now the one kind of like saving grace that we all have when we are facing wasp is her low health pool and even though she is quite a tricky fight with really tricky to dex a level two now i'm not saying it's obviously impossible there are champions whose level twos are harder but it's still typically kind of like commonly assumed that it's best to bait out level ones because level two hits hard and if you make a mistake it's going to be critical and you're going to be in for a whole lot of trouble so typically is a champion where you always stick to kind of like baiting out level ones which is relatively easy to work around but she has a very high chance to evade incoming attacks unless her evade is on cooldown so there are ways how you can work around her uh evade however based on nodes based on node combinations it always might not be as simple as it looks however she is one of those champions where if you know what you're doing she's not the biggest problem uh, obviously pending what kind of incredible fun and interactive node she has on her but as a champion herself she is kind of like relatively difficult defender but not quite up there with the hardest of the hard kind of like champions to deal with now uh, that we have taken a look at her as an opponent, let's move on to utility. Now, uh, first and foremost, she has an excellent uh, access to passive stuns. That means she is able to stun, for instance, debuff immune opponents. Now, uh, she cannot stun stun immune opponents uh, since a change in game changing game let's let let's just leave it like that but uh ability to access passive stun is obviously extremely uh valuable and useful means it's unaffected by limber it cannot get shrugged off so on and so forth so it's always very kind of like handy to how whenever you are dropping your regular combo you are able to access your heavy attack and that has guaranteed crits and that does a lot of damage that pushes opponent's power bar further and everything about wasp is kind of like designed to the fact that you are able to ignore the fact that she's squishy if you're using her correctly because uh, i as i demonstrated in my kind of like power cycle video the fact that wasp can uh, throw heavy attack and can repeatedly throw that heavy attack against the wall uh, basically means she never has to parry in an average fight it means you can uh 
give opponent enough power with pretty much every single one of your combos or chaining special attack to your combo or just repeatedly throwing heavy attacks against the wall to a point where you can always make sure you're going to be able to push opponent past a bar of power, bait that punish that special attack and just go on happy go lucky without ever relying on actually having a necessity to take any damage in your block whatsoever now obviously she does have access to petrify which uh, can make her potent heal reverse champion she's not the uh, best heal reverse champion because it is level two and it is something that gets increased with your combo meter and it is something where you need to make sure that the opponent cannot throw a special attack if you want your power strings to convert to petrify however it is still one of the options for instance for realm of legends wolverine or for uh, pretty much any other fight where a uh, major heal reverse is in order and again the simple fact that she can access her heavy attack as easily and as fluently as she can automatically enables her to be extremely valuable for certain subs set of nodes which we can talk a bit later uh, in the video but first and foremost let's just move on to kind of like notable use in content now uh, first and foremost obviously most notable use of wasp is a part of ghost synergy she is uh, that synergy piece that makes ghost special attacks uh, be unblockable and therefore makes it a lot easier to use ghost i personally typically when i play ghost don't really run wasp synergy because i am relatively comfortable throwing ghost special attacks without wasp but that doesn't mean i I dislike using wasp on the contrary i ranked up wasp as my second rank two six star and i did it for her and her abilities much more than i did it for the fact that she's ghost synergy piece because as i mentioned i quite often do not take her with ghost but i often end up using her wasp for her own abilities now the fact that for instance she can easily bypass nodes like life cycle where you rely on how easily and frequently you drop uh, down your opponents as you knock them down the fact that she can just throw heavy attacks in the middle of the combo means she has absolutely no trouble whatsoever to deal with life cycle nodes do not go gentle is another perfect example where you either need to spam a lot of heavy attacks or do a lot of intercepts since wasp is able to basically throw a heavy attack whenever she goddamn well pleases that also means that do not go gentle isn't a problem for her egg is heavy in alliance war for instance again quite often we are faced up against champions which are difficult to drop heavy attacks on where wasp has no problem doing so and there is a whole plethora of nodes where this ability specifically to access as passive stun and heavy attacks is extremely useful and uh, as kind of like quick mentions we can give to was being one of the best answers for a 6.25 Mordor fight, which is really annoying fight, but Wasp has absolutely no problems one shooting that fight and there are other multiple places whether in it is in act six or whether it is an alliance war where wasp is an amazing amazing champion for what she is and what she does uh, especially seeing how increasingly popular are tenacity nodes which which shrug off your debuffs wasp has no problem with that because her passive stand is passive it's not considered as a debuff so she can pretty much ignore all of the tenacity nodes and so forth and uh yeah i am absolutely uh loving wasp as a six star rank two champion uh, now her notable synergies now obviously she has synergy with ghost but that synergy largely just benefits ghost uh, when it comes to actually benefiting from that synergy you would need to combine wasp ghost and ant-man as well and then uh, wasp gains the 25 percent increased attack and beginning of the fight which is important however by far wasp's most important synergy would be with havoc which uh, lets her access passive fury buff whenever she chains heavy attack from her regular combo thus increasing her heavy attack damage quite significantly and increasing her overall damage potential now iron man infinity war regular iron man and yellow jacket also have quite neat synergies which acts uh, which less lets wasp access i believe concussion and petrified debuffs when you perform intercepts uh, but those can only be used up to three times in a fight now again so the viability of these synergies really depend on the health pool of the opponent whether it's kind of quote-unquote run out plus it's not the most convenient 
uh, thing to rely on. For instance, if you want to concuss your opponent, you need nail that intercept. And then, yes, it is 100% concussion, which is extremely useful. But there are better options typically to deal with those fights. Not to mention that Yellow Jacket and Iron Man Finty Ward or regular Iron Man are hardly like the meta champions you would want to bring with you on a questing team. Now, however, I cannot possibly ignore the fact that uh, Wasp does benefit from uh, having access to extra debuffs, and therefore Iron Man Infinity War Yellow Jacket synergies are actually more beneficial than, than they superficially seem, because uh, Wasp's critical damage rating gets increased per each debuff on opponent. That means that uh, these concussion debuff, these petrified debuffs from Iron Man synergy, from Yellow Jacket synergy, do actually let Wasp hit noticeably and considerably harder because that increase is quite significant. That also means that Wasp works extremely well with Mr. Fantastic pre-fight abilities because she consistently spams heavy attacks, thus she knocks down the opponents, thus those debuffs do not expire throughout the entire fight and that automatically gives Wasp a lot more damage. Additionally, obviously Wasp benefits from Resonate Mastery or any other additional debuffs that are placed on opponents via nodes or other champion abilities. And yeah, so in conclusion, Wasp is actually one of the more interesting champions in the game, uh, partially due to her ability to uh, quote unquote technically kind of like increase her special 3 damage indefinitely, partially due to her increased damage uh, thanks to this debuff mechanic and increased critical damage, access to guaranteed crits, access to passive stun, and uh, all of the other things that these kind of like options imply. I personally uh, do not use Wasp kind of like day to day as one of my main questing champions. However, at pretty much every kind of like most recent significant piece of content, I have used my 6th rank 2 Wasp and I absolutely love having her ranked up. Therefore, I do believe that she is criminally underrated currently in Marvel Concept Champions and so many people are absolutely sleeping on her. Once again, I absolutely encourage every single one of you type in a uh, YouTube search KT1 Wasp and there's going to be a whole plethora of videos with me using Wasp and doing some really interesting things with her, showcasing her with Mr. Fantastic Synergy, showcase, uh, I also have a champion review with gameplay examples and strategies explained so on and so forth. But this also means that we are finally reaching our verdict on Wasp or more specifically that I'm going to uh, sh show my personal verdict on Wasp and uh, yeah that is extremely potent uh, however situational goddess overshadowed by her role as a synergy extremely slept on and in my personal opinion asset to every roster not only a fantastic synergy piece for Ghost but also an amazing champion in her own right however that will pretty much do for today's video now i do hope that you guys did enjoy the video and perhaps possibly learn something new if you did please do me a massive favor share this video with your friends let them know about the fantastic things that wasp can do as well and uh all in all yeah uh if you have made it this far well then here's baby yoda for you drinking from his cup waiting on you to hit that like button hit that sub button hit that notification bell and let your friends know where to find some cool quirky information about Marvel Constant of Champions. Now, that being said, if you did not like today's video, well then, unfortunately, it's time for you to go. <laughs> Just kidding, but seriously, I'll catch you guys soon. See ya.